Many tourists go to Tokyo, hang out in Shibuya or Harajuku and see some anime goods or go to Akihabara and buy some electronic stuff or go to Asakusa and see the shrine and feels like you've seen it all. Well, you really haven't unless you go to these two places that I'm about to tell you. Here are the two must-go places in Japan that you cannot miss. First, Kyoto. Now those of you who have been to Kyoto know that it's absolutely the prettiest city that still preserves the old traditional Japan in every sense. No high buildings, the river, mountains, and of course temples and shrines, the scenery is simply breathtaking. You may bump into geisha, the whole style, art, and fashion. You'll feel as if you were transported to old Japan, where Kyoto used to be the capital of Japan for more than 1,000 years. The most beautiful place out of all Kyoto that you cannot miss is the bamboo forest. You can just walk by yourself, but it's also nice to hop on a rickshaw and see it through. It's out of this world. Tokyo is in the Kanto area, and Kyoto is a three-hour ride to the west by bullet train Shinkansen. You can see gorgeous Mount Fuji, Fujisan, in the middle of the ride. Kyoto, where I graduated my university, is in Kansai area and right next to my hometown Osaka and Nara. So if you have enough time, I recommend you to also visit Todaiji in Nara, the Todaiji temple, and see the biggest image of Buddha, as well as Osaka, the mecca of comedy, food, and commerce and enjoy Osaka's special okonomiyaki and takoyaki. Now the second one is the absolute best thing and unlike Kyoto, the majority of tourists never go there. They just don't know it. Drum roll please, it's onsen the hot spring. Japan is a volcanic country, so it's not just one spot. Onsen is spread all over Japan in the countryside. The water contains minerals and healing properties that have many health benefits. The natural hot springs were regarded as a gift from the gods. It's a real spiritual experience. Onsen is the soul of Japan. The scenery and its sacred experience are nothing like it. And until you experience Onsen, you haven't really experienced the real Japan. Make a reservation and stay in Ryokan, a Japanese inn, and enjoy the ultimate Japanese cuisine all day. They may have onsen, both inside and outside the inns, so you can enjoy both. By the way, they prohibit those who have tattoos all over their bodies because that means you are Yakuza members in Japan. But if you have some small ones here and there, then cover the part with towels when you mingle with others. But I think they will understand anyway if you are a foreigner, then you are not Yakuza. The most famous areas are Izu and Atami in Shizuoka Ken, Shizuoka Prefecture. And if you pick a place where you can look up Mount Fuji while soaking in the hot spring water, boy oh boy you are in for a treat. I promise you, it will be the most unforgettable experience in your life. I hope you'll get to experience it.